thing in the mirror. Received on the 4th of October 2000X at 9.56 a.m. Hey, you doing all right? It's been a while since I've heard anything from you. Things are all right here, I guess. It's going slowly, but I'm finally finishing up my next story. I should probably get to the point. I'm writing you because I need to talk to you about something. Please read all of this because it isn't a joke. Yesterday, I found something really strange. It was in my mirror. I was looking in the mirror when I saw something reflected in it. It was about five meters behind me, and it was sort of creeping around on the ground. It was definitely alive. It was about a meter long and it had a wide build. It also had a tail. That probably sounds weird as it is, but it gets worse. Its head was the same size as a person's. It had a black mane that looked like the same sort of hair you have on your head. Its skin was dark and moist and its eyes looked foggy. At first glance, the first thing that came to mind was that it was some sort of human faced lizard. By now the logical side of you is probably already thinking that I'm trying to pull one over on you. But this isn't a lie or some sort of delusion. I don't believe in God, but I swear to you that this is the truth. First off, when I went to the library, other patrons stopped and stared at the entrance. In other words, other people can see it too. I won't say that I'm possessed by a ghost or something. It was far too clear in the mirror to call it that. I wonder if it would show up in a photograph too. It's really creepy though. It doesn't look like any sort of ghost I've heard of. My current hypothesis is that it's something from another dimension. Anyway, I don't know what to do about it. I don't just want to run away. I think I'll pretend it's not there and observe it for the time being. You probably don't believe any of this, but I want your opinion. I'll talk to you later. Uh, received 5th of October 2000X at 10, 8 a.m. Well, you haven't replied, so I assume you just haven't read your emails yet. I found out some things since yesterday, which is why I'm emailing you again. I tried taking a picture, but for some reason it didn't show up. Even on my digital camera. I tried getting closer to it while watching it in the mirror. But no matter how far backwards I moved, the distance between us didn't decrease. Thinking that it didn't look like anything from our world, I tried to touch it with something, but it didn't work. It didn't seem to move at all, and whatever I was holding seemed to go straight through it. Despite that, it kept staring at me. By this time I knew that this thing had some sort of connection to me. To be honest, I was starting to get scared. At first I thought it was only its face that looked human. The more time went on, the surer I was that it had a human facial expression too. Sometimes it looks straight at me and gives me a really weird smile. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. And maybe I'm just imagining things, but it seems to be getting closer. Maybe I'm overthinking all of this. Who knew I could be such a coward? If you get this, get a hold of me as soon as you can. Bye. Received 6th of October 2000X, 11.33am. You still haven't checked your email? It's not my imagination. That thing is getting closer to me little by little. Come over here now. If I'm just hallucinating, we can laugh about it then, alright? I just want you to tell me that I've gone a little crazy. Anything is better than this. That thing is sly. And it is intelligent. It's actually enjoying my reaction to it being here. And I can't take it anymore. It's like it gets off on watching people freak out and fall apart. I think I might be some sort of prize in its mind. Received 7th October 2000X, 
11.14 a.m. It's been four days already. Stop being such an asshole and check your mail already. Do you have any idea what's been going through my head these past couple of days? Or maybe... Maybe you're scared it'll set its eyes on you instead. Or do you not want anything to do with someone who's going crazy? Fine. I get it. But I didn't think you were that kind of person. I guess I was wrong. Goodbye. Received 8th of October 2000X, 9.23am. I'm sorry. I was out of control yesterday. I want you to know that's how bad it's been for me. But I'm not crazy. I'm stupid. I should have gone to the police first thing or checked with a university research center or something. But it's too late now. You're the only person that knows about it. I didn't tell my family about it because it was too dangerous. It waits until somebody notices it. It's not interested in prey that isn't scared of it. A seemingly unmoving human face lizard. Anyone that sees it probably won't last much longer. I die. Don't come to the funeral. This isn't me being spiteful about you not replying. You're probably just so busy at work you haven't had the time to read your emails. And I'm starting to worry about you. That thing is unbelievably clever. And it's much smarter than I first realized. If it realizes you're the one who I've been contacting these past couple of days, it will probably go after you next. Of course, if you're reading this, you probably won't be able to help but look for it in the mirror behind you. It's already wrapped itself around my neck and arm. And its mouth is open wide. I... I can see blood dripping from my neck where its nails are digging in. I can't look at the mirror anymore. I don't know what to do. If I could touch it, it wouldn't stand a chance. What a coward. I know what its intentions are. It wants to bite off my scalp. It will bite into my skull and then start sucking out the grey meat of my brain. Shit. Shit. I read the emails as soon as I got home from my business trip. It was the middle of the night on October 8th. The same night my friend sent this last message. I thought it was just a prank. Admittedly, a pretty dark one, but... Nothing more than that. He wrote stories all the time. And I just assumed that's what these emails were. I figured that I could forgive him as long as he didn't take it any further than that. But the next day... Somebody told me... He had died. I called his phone immediately. Feeling an uneasiness as I waited for him to pick up. I went to the vigil. It was at the same place as the funeral. I was told that he had been involved in some sort of incident. The cops were still investigating his apartment. When I got home, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. I was upset about his death, but that wasn't the main thing on my mind. I'm somewhat of a heartless person, you could say. The thing that was bothering me the most was the emails he sent coincided perfectly with the incident he had gotten caught up in. It was a little too convenient for me. Whatever happened took place in his apartment. 
The estimated time of death matches perfectly with the last letter he sent. The emails all properly displayed the dates and times they were sent. I assume that after he sent that last letter something. No. That can't be right. Would it really happen after he sent it? If he died while he was in the middle of writing it, which is what it looks like based on the typing, then the murderer must have pushed the send button. Or maybe... Sh shut up. There's... What are you thinking? There's no way anything like that could exist. Don't be so stupid. It's pretty pathetic that you're getting so worked up over a made-up story. I looked over the emails again. No matter how many times I read them, I got chills. None of his other stories were like this, were they? If it isn't fiction and these messages were his last words, I... I went to the vigil. I ignored his warning. In this room, I should be fine. It's too small for me to see anything behind me in the mirror. But if I go into the living room, will I see that thing behind me in that mirror? I can't bring myself to go out there. What should I do?